All right, young man, introduce yourself and we'll get started. Willis Wilson, head men's basketball coach, <laughs> Texas A&M, Corpus Christi. <laughs> Practice has started. Freshmen are in place. They're trying to adjust. Are they adjusting? Well, the good news for us is we are light on freshmen. We only have one. <laughs> really? Yeah. The bad news is he's been a little banged up. But, uh, he's, he's been, when he's on the court, he's been doing a good job. We're hoping to get him healthy so that he can uh, get caught up right now. He's, he's missing a lot of things as we're implementing our program. But, uh, uh, Jay Clark, just a fabulous kid, terrific basketball player from right here in Houston. We're really excited about his future. You know, he coming in with the stealing folks and all. What that's all about, man? Well, Houston is a hotbed of talent, as you as you well know. And so uh, we, we've got roots here in the city. And we've that's been true. able to come in and kind of cherry pick some guys. And, and, the, and the truth of the matter is we've been able to really build our program off of Texas connections and Texas ties. And in particular, the city of Houston has been really good to us as this city of San Antonio. Talk about some of the guys that you've got com coming back, especially the seniors that have been through the grind and all and looking to ex extend. Well, we're not a team that has a, a lot of seniors. We're kind of caught in the middle, heavy with sophomores and, and juniors in particular. But uh, the senior guys in our program, Emmanuel Tony's a guy that's had some injuries the last couple of years. And we've been fortunate that he's going to be able to get a six year. But the value of having a guy that's been in our program for six years, he knows me, he knows the program, he knows the expectations, he knows uh, where we want to go as a, as a basketball program. And so that's been a, a really positive uh, attribute for, for our program. A couple other guys that have been around for a while, not classified as seniors on the basketball court, but Cream South and, and Kyle Brown are two guys that that know us, they know what we're doing, and those guys have been rock solid. We, we try to build on character, toughness, and talent. Those guys exhibit, exhibit those, uh, those characteristics day in and day out, and they lead with the same sort of passion. Non-conference schedule, you, you've always done one of them jobs. You, you slip one in on the guys and said, fellas, we're going on the road, this is who we're playing. Yeah, well, we're going on the road playing Tennessee, top five basketball team for the coming year. We'll be at Oklahoma State. Two games that uh, really will give our guys a sense of what, what it'd be like to play in the NCAA tournament. And that's why we're doing this. All the coaches here involved with media, they want to make that tournament, but we've been close. And so we've, we've got a group of guys that are hungry. We've, we've built the kind of culture that we think can translate into a championship culture. And now we've got to go out and prove it. And when you're playing teams of that caliber, you get a real taste for, for what you're going to face in the postseason. Southland Conference. 18 game grind, you gotta win games at home, but you gotta steal them on the road. The guys accepting that challenge. Yeah, the greatest challenge for, for us and really anybody in our league, you know, we come out with the preseason standings, but you never know who's gonna rise. And this tends to be a league where uh, teams that have the experience and have veterans, not just seniors, but kids that have been through this league tend to excel. And so uh, you gotta be able to grind every night. A lot of great coaches, a lot of great players. I think this is one of the most underrated basketball uh, conferences in the country. And it's really been proven out over the years with the things that some of the teams have been able to do in the NCAA tournament. Uh, but I think we are, as a one-bid league, it's going to boil down to one: you got to get to the conference tournament, and then two: winning those games in March. That second Saturday in March is is the key for everybody. You want to—that's the game you want to win because that's the one that will put you into the NCAA tournament. Tell folks what's going on on campus that takes a and Corpus Christi because it's a lovely city. People just, if you've never been down there, you need to go. Yeah, well, Corpus Christi is one of the best kept secrets in the state of Texas. If you were in Corpus, you would not know that you're in the state of Texas. With the, the ocean, the beaches, the palm trees, uh, you go 25, 20, 25 miles outside the city, you're in the hill country. But the question you ask is what's going on on our campus, what's going on with the program? We're excited. Our new president, Dr. Kelly Quintanilla, is an avid sports fan. She wants our basketball program to do well. She is putting the weight of the university behind our program so that we can be successful, and our success will help her reach her goal of making Corpus Christi a college town, creating a vibrant campus. It's a beautiful campus. We want to make it a vibrant campus. We want to make it the type of place that people come and want to stay. And, uh, 
we're well on our way. The, the commitments that she's made to elevate our program are, are significant. I think there'll be some things that people will see over the next six to eight, 18 months that uh, they'll look and say, man, focus is, it's on its way, that not only the, the university, but the whole community. And with that, young man, we're going to reintroduce yourself and we're going to close this out. Willis Wilson, head men's basketball coach, Texas A&M Corpus Christi. <laughs> this is Jerry Lee Willie Jr., the College Sports Report here in Houston, Texas, Southland Conference Basketball Media Day.